Hi, this is Quantum Amat. Welcome to my channel. So quite a lot of people want to um, send alerts um, from trading you and save some information in Google Sheets. And in this video, I will show you a really um, simple way uh, to do that uh, without any third party tools. Um, and um, this process, as you'll see, is quite simple. Uh, so let's start in Google Sheets. So here I have prepared like I just uh, kind of a new document and I put here like a header already. So I want to send alerts with signals from uh, TradingView and I want to save the time when they came uh, symbol and uh, what, what's the type of the signal. Uh, and um, now I will um, do like a script that will save our TradingView alerts to, um, to this kind of format. So first let's click extensions and click apps script. So here we have a code editor we can uh, kind of create a new um, scripts uh, from and here we need to um, write some code to uh, get the um, a request from our um, train new alert and put it in the format of um, Google Sheets. So I prepared here a bit of the code and uh, so code is uh, pretty um, simple. So uh, we um, basically get our um, request in the JSON format, we parse it, we um, create like a new, um, we get a kind of a current sheet, we find out what is a new row, we create new row and then we fill it with some values from our request. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty um, simple. Let's um, save it and now let's deploy it. So you can click on this button on, on in the top of the page, click new deployment. And um, here, let's wait for a sec. So here you can see you have some uh, parameters for our deployment. So here you need to select web app in the type of um, your um, application. Here we need to select um, like a description. Um, it, it should execute it as you and um, who can access it should be anyone. So let's click deploy. And after that, we need to authorize access. So it will ask you to confirm like who you are and say it should, you should allow uh, this web application to edit uh, your um, Google Sheets for you. So that's it. Um, we um, created um, the app. So now we need to copy the URL of the app. So we will um, need this uh, later. And um, now let's go and um, test that it uh, worked well. To test your web app, you can use the uh, Postman app. So you just need to go here, create like a new uh, post request, paste your uh, URL of your web app, and now you can go to body, click row, and here we need, just need to define uh, like a G JSON that we will send in alert to, from trading you, and this way we can easily test it. So we can. Um, say that symbol for example is uh, BTC USDT and then uh, we have another one is a signal type and let's say it will be long um, so that seems to be it let's send it and see if it works so it seems to work we received um, a status 200 so this means that it worked fine let's test it on our Google Sheets and it seems like, yeah, we have a uh, new record here. So it seems uh, to work quite fine. So now what we have to do is to test this from uh, TradingView. So here is um, the script I uh, created uh, to um, test um, um, this uh, kind of like Google Sheet integration. And it's uh, very, very simple. So idea is that it will send uh, like signals uh, from uh, trading you basically for every bar. If a uh, bar is um, red, it will send long signal. If it's uh, green, it will send a short signal. Um, so it's quite a dummy to be honest. And it will do this every bar at bar close, as you can see here. So let's create it and see uh, if it works. So let's go to alerts, click uh, create alert, uh, select our um, script name, uh, any alert function called condition. And now let's go to notifications and let's uh, copy the um, URL of our new created app. 
in the webhook URL uh, section. Let's click create. And as you can see, I apply this to one minute um, bars. So in a couple of minutes, we will receive a um, couple of alerts and we'll be able to test that it works correctly. So I left it for like around five minutes and we received uh, like five uh, new alerts here in the JSON format and we send this to our Google Sheet. So let's go and see um, how it looks. And it seems uh, to work pretty fine. So here are the kind of new alerts. And uh, as you can see, it saved uh, kind of dynamically a ticker ID for us. And also we have like a type of our signal. And um, that's basically it. Um, this is a pretty simple example of how um, you can integrate uh, TradingView and Google uh, Sheets. And of course, uh, you can do much more complicated things there. So probably you can create like a dashboard to, um, to, to, to track really complicated indicators, maybe strategies for you for multiple um, indicators. Also, you can export much more information and to do some kind of additional analytics on top of that. But this um, it's a pretty simple example just to kind of show you, um, um, just so you can understand the concept better. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.